Prince Philip was held by great affection by many people. However, nowhere could hold claim to be quite as reverent as the island of Tanna. It's in the South Pacific. It's east of Australia in the country of Vanuatu. There, a religious sect called the Prince Philip Movement believes that the Duke was a divine being. He paid a visit there with the Queen in 1974. And Matthew Bayliss has written a book about the sect and its beliefs, and we can speak to him now. Matthew, thank you very much for joining us tonight. So what's behind this relationship then? Well, um, he's actually never been to Tanner. Um, he's been to the archipelago of which Tanner is a part, but uh, he, he's not actually gone to Tanner. Um, but for the people on the island, that, that, that in itself is a, is a matter of some significance. Um, what, what lies behind it really is a, um, a, a deep-seated belief that all the countries and islands of the world were once related, but have now become unfortunately separated. And that by um, establishing friendships with people and relationships uh, for, uh, with people from other islands and other countries, um, that original state of unity can be brought back together. So it's essentially a, a kind of religious, spiritual idea based, if you like, in very ancient geography. Hmm. It seems extraordinary as well, bearing in mind he hadn't been there. What do you think he made of it? Um, well... He, he, he certainly uh, was made aware of it when it first sort of came to the attention of the authorities and um, he, he, you could say, collaborated in it by uh, providing the islanders with um, a, a gift. Uh, he sent them uh, a signed photograph and when they decided to test that further by sending him a, a carved pig-killing club called a, a, a Nal Nal, um, he... Uh, sought advice on the best way to brandish the club so that he looked um, uh, fully traditional and um, had a picture taken of himself doing so. And that was also sent back to the islanders. So, And he's also sent letters to them and met uh, a delegation of people from the island when they came to uh, Buckingham Palace. Um, so um, he's, he, he, he's um, certainly acknowledged it and given it due respect. Yeah, I would imagine he did give it due respect and I imagine it also tickled him somewhat as well. When you say that they came over, residents of Tanner, what happened to Buckingham, in Buckingham Palace? Well, I have absolutely no idea because um, it was requested by himself and them that it was it took place in secret. So we, we have absolutely no idea. Um, I know that he um, he asked them how their gardens were, were progressing, which is something that's very, very important to the people on Tanner. That every, every person has a, a garden where they grow yams and taro and manioc. And uh, it's regarded as a point of personal pride to have a, a very flourishing garden. And he asked them about that, but I know nothing else about the meeting and I don't know if anyone ever would. Mm. I wonder how they'll be reacting once they hear the news. Well, they, they, they're, they're not, um, uh, it's not going to be an enormous surprise. They were aware that he was unwell beforehand. Of course, they were also aware that he was a, a, an old man who was advancing state of age, um, probably older than the oldest chief on the island. Um, so it won't come as an enormous surprise, um, but I certainly think there will be a period of mourning. Um, there will be um, a lot of quite uh, ritualized uh, wailing and, and mourning, and also there will be uh, dancing, uh, which will uh, commemorate in some respects the, the, the original myths and stories of the island. Um, and then I think there'll be a lot of speculation as to what has happened. Has Philip returned to the island in spirit? Or are they going to find um, a new figurehead in, in perhaps some other members of the royal family who are still surviving? And perhaps that might be Prince Charles, because he visited the island himself, didn't he? That's right. And um, he even uh, received from uh, a person from Tanner a, a walking stick. Uh, carved by uh, someone from Tanner, which was uh, carried to Prince Philip um, in order to help him walk. Um, so it, it may well be that the the role um, transfers to, to, to Prince Charles or possibly to another member of the royal family. All right, Martin Bayless, thank you very much. You're welcome.